Yes! Whoa! That's another V12, guys. Whew. Let's go, let's go. Woo! That is so good. Glad I sent that before you left. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to the training vlog. Uh, today's session is going to be uh, some off the ground lifts, then some forearm rotations, and then uh, we're doing some kilter projecting, which is pretty exciting. Um, that'll be stuff in the V11, V12 range, V11s that are hard for me personally, and then just like V12s in general. Yeah, pretty much. And yeah, yeah, off the ground lifts, just training the contact strength and some, some other recruitment muscles. So yeah, should be a pretty good session. Very excited for it. And let's get right into it. All right, guys, first up today, some uh, off the ground edge lifts. We are picking up 150 with a 20 mil edge. Um, yeah, we have to do that six times per hand. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting strength through repetitions. Yes, sir. Instead of just like maximum lifts. Um, yeah, yeah, I like this exercise a lot. It, I feel like it helps with my contact strength, just like the, the picking up off the ground. And yeah, it's really nice to just move weight around. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Six times. That was hard. All right, next hand. <laughs> Let's go. All right. All right, time for set number two. All right, come on. Sweet, that went pretty easy. Let's go. All right, guys, uh, next up is forearm rotations. We are strengthening our forearms through endurance training. That's, that's the goal with this anyways. I have to do 20 reps per arm for two sets. This, uh, this one's pretty painful for me, but it's a very good workout and I do it a lot and it gives my forearms an absolutely killer pump. Yeah, so I, I like it a lot. <clears throat> I'm also gonna try to talk through it <laughs> and talk about the difference between uh, off the ground lifts versus hangboarding and which one I like more. Okay, let's start with the left hand. Okay. All right, so the biggest difference between off the ground lifts and um, one arm hangs on the hangboard, this is difficult to talk about. I, I don't think I can, <laughs> sorry guys. I'm gonna lose count. Oh no, 
I lost it on the last rep. <laughs> that was so close though. Oh God, my forearm is pumped. Okay, other side. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh no. That was that was insane. Oh my god. They're oh, they're so full of life, you guys. I, I'm so freaking pumped right now. Next side. You know what's killer about these? Is that I only get a 30 second rest in between reps. <laughs> or in between sets, sorry. Oh, my forearms are killing me. Oh man, I love this exercise though. Right around set, uh, rep number 16, I could not move it. Like, well, I mean, I barely made it up. So I was like, there's no shot that I can do this for another four. So that's why I had to move my grip up. Let's do the same thing here. Oh my god, look at that, they're huge, I bet they're bigger than my biceps, oh yeah, look at that.
one had a bunch of unnecessary holds. Um, I don't know if they, those holds actually made it easier either. Um, still pro, felt pretty V8 to me. Ooh, oh yeah. Um, anyways, like I was trying to say earlier, <laughs> when I was trying to do the forearm rotation, I started like talking and I was like, wow, I'm losing count. I need to focus on my forearm rotations. Yeah. Uh, the, the difference between like off the ground lifts versus like one arm hangs or something is, uh, well, for one, off the ground lifts really train like contact strength more, I think. Because it's all about the like initial like contraction when you pick it up off the ground. Whew, let me catch my breath for a second. Good Lord. And while uh, like one arm lifts are just about like, like, strength on an edge it's it i would say like one arm hangs are more applicable to climbing especially because like if you're really focusing on shoulder positioning that's very important for climbing and that is worked more on a one arm hang but uh i think that off the ground lifts are very valuable to me right now because i've never done them before so i still have like room to grow with them and uh increasing my contact strength is pretty important because i would say like when I first started lattice training, I was like, I was very, I was very into like the big jumps and like contact strengthy stuff. But over time, I got more and more into um, like slow locking off kind of stuff. So, uh, oh. <laughs> so I think uh, off the ground lifts are very valuable for me right now, so I can like train and get better at like dynamic movement again. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it for that, honestly, and. Yeah, honestly, like also just tr like mixing up your training and trying something new is always very valuable and you can always get gains from it in some sort of way. So yeah, I, that's why, that's why I th at least I think that it's part of my training right now. Um, I like it a lot. They're fun. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think if I had to choose, I would do one arm hangs over off the ground lifts just in terms of like trying to improve my finger strength. Well, anyways, I'm done yapping about that. <laughs> Let's get back to some filtering. All right, time for another one. This one looks quite a bit harder, actually. <laughs> oh, man, I forgot what feet are on. I don't know if either of these two red feet are on. Crap. Wish our kilt board was fixed. <laughs> <laughs> um anyways <laughs> yeah I, I forgot what feet were on so i just didn't use them <laughs> all right everybody it's time to start projecting um also my dad got me a new microphone he just pulled up with it it's it's super sick and it sounds really nice uh yeah, it's significantly better than my old one, so hopefully you guys will stop bullying me for bad audio quality. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, appreciate it to my dad. <laughs> yeah. So let's get to doing some projecting. This is Han 3, my current project. It's really, really hard for me because I'm bad at these foot chip crimps, but hopefully it'll go for me today. Okay, the, the jump felt good. Now let's establish and do that. All right, let's pull on. Oh, it's a pretty good first pull on actually. Yeah, so the key for this one, um, what I learned last session when I had those couple of really close goes, is really making sure I'm like engaging the shoulder and pulling through it whenever I'm going for it. Yeah, not just pulling through the fingers. It, I'd have to just like make a conscious effort to, to pull through the shoulder, which I normally don't really have to do, but um, for this one, I guess it really helps me. Yeah. That was actually like really close. Like I got my fingers fully on it. I think I just kind of fired off it. Let's brush that real quick. Oh, I missed it. Oh. oh. 
Let's go. Oh, I missed it. Oh, that was it. No! Oh, right there. Just missed it. Oh! Ooh, all right, guys, we're moving on because uh, Humphrey was kicking my butt. Let's try something else. You need to keep my right foot on. Ow. Wow, I just grabbed that full pinky. Oh, God, I should have held that. Oh, I did the crux. Let's go. This is a V12. Yeah, I just did the crux of it. This one's like, well, so like the other one was like just very crimpy, but this one is like just my full span. Like, look at that. I got to stay strong in that position. And I just did. Let's go. Let's do the rest of the moves. I missed it. Time to give it a go from the bottom, I guess. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Ugh. Ow, that hurt. Oh, that was it. Oh. All right, rest. Oh, that was it. Oh. I even cut on it, which is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, my foot was on it. Okay. Uh, and when I tried to put my left foot on it, I just kind of slipped on the hands. Because I had the, the right hand three finger drag pinch. Yeah, yeah. That was a strong move. Got it. Next move's not easy. But once I got the next move, I got it from the, I got it to the top. Whoa! That's another V12, guys. Whoa! Let's go, let's go. Woo! That is so good. Glad I sent that before you left. <laughs> All right. Let's do the, the crux move real quick. Then we'll give it some goes from the bottom. I should it. <laughs> oh! 
Oh, that was actually really good. I felt super strong on that. Come on. <sighs> <sighs> Woo. All right. Whoa, right there. <sighs> ah! Whoa. I dry fired. What's up guys? Welcome to the end of the video. Uh, amazing session today. I did my fourth ever V12, which is incredible. I did. How long is your span version two? That was <laughs> that was crazy because I have tried that one in the past around the time that I sent the other V12s that I did. And I thought it was um, maybe not impossible, but like really, really hard for me. So it was actually incredible to uh, <laughs> to do it um, at 50 degrees. That was pretty insane. I, I think I knew after doing it at 45 that I could do it, but like it was like theoretically possible for me. Um, yeah, but as soon as I bumped it down to 50, I was like, wow, this is way harder. Yeah, so uh, yeah, <laughs> that is one of the, the sends I'm the most proud of for sure. Uh, right up there with uh, take with a question mark. <laughs> I'm very proud of myself with both of those sends. It's pretty incredible. Um, yeah. I, had, I made good progress on the sauce too. I dry fired off the, the last hard move, which is pretty cool. That one will for sure go in the future. Uh, I don't think it's, eh, it definitely doesn't feel quite like V12 to me. All the holds feel like really juggy, just like long, powerful moves, you know? I don't know. I, it's probably closer to like 11 or even 10, maybe, especially if you're taller. I'm not that tall, so it was like still quite hard for me, but. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't feel as hard as some of the other 12s that I've done. But also, I didn't do it. So why should I? Uh, <laughs> why should I talk about his difficulty when I haven't done it yet? <laughs> uh, yeah. What else? Han three. Uh, I made some pretty good progress on it. I got kind of frustrated at it, and I gave up. Uh, that is probably the one I want to do the most because it's the most like my anti style. I'd probably be the happiest if I did do that one. But yeah, uh, it just, it feels really hard. <laughs> it feels really hard. <laughs> it's crazy hard for me. Yeah. Well, uh, anyways, next, uh, next Saturday is a sending session. So I just get to try uh, stuff in the V8 to V11 range again, which is super exciting, uh, which means I just get to, to yeah, go at hard climbs. That'd be pretty cool. Um, it, I'm pretty stoked for it. Uh, and... I honestly feel pretty strong and that a lot of other V12s could potentially go in the future because I tried some crux moves of other ones while I was in between trying different V12s and I got I was like closer than I ever was before so that's pretty exciting to me as well yeah yeah um I am done yapping uh <laughs> pretty much I don't have anything else to say I really appreciate you guys watching my video. Thank you for making it to the end if you did. Well, I'll see you guys later.